Welcome back to Bonesette Ranch. When it came time to replace my older Chevy truck with a newer one with more load carrying capacity, the Dodge Ram quickly rose to the top of the trucks I was considering. One of the big reasons is the Ram Box option. The obvious challenge to putting a camper shell on a truck bed with a Ram Box is the fact that you can't open the Ram Box with the shell on top. I found the solution through the company Topper Lift. There's a link to the company in the description below. Topper Lift provides a system of four motors and controls that will lift a standard camper shell. This leaves the RAM boxes available to access. The other advantage to this system is for loading and unloading the camper shell from the truck. If you have an overhead source to hang the camper shell from, it becomes a matter of simply lifting the camper shell, tying it off, and then pulling the truck out. The standard installation of the motors makes this possible, but it is kind of tedious to remove all of the components after you've raised the camper shell. So that was one of the drawbacks to this system is the fact that taking the camper shell on and off does require a number of steps before the truck can pull out. The other disadvantage to the installation of the topper system is the fact that on a ram box the motors are inside the cargo area and don't quite leave four feet of clearance for cargo. I needed to find a way to improve on these weaknesses and this is what I worked out. As you can see here, the system still works exactly as before. The only difference is the way I've mounted everything. Where the bottom of the motor would have been mounted to the bottom of the truck bed, I installed the bottom of the motor to the top of the camper shell and reversed the way the motors are installed on the truck. The top of the actuator was connected to the camper shell before, but now the top of the actuator is connected to the bed and the motors rise with the camper shell. Now the lift system only extends a few inches into the bed and that makes the operation all above the cargo area of the bed. Beyond that, everything works exactly as before. And now plywood slides in without obstructions. This installation has the added benefit of keeping the motors up inside the shell when you're loading and unloading the camper. Because I had a storage rack installed on the roof of the shell, I didn't need new holes in the roof to install the rails I used to secure the bottoms of the motors upside down. The last customization was making the system ready for camping. The topper system can come with a tent option. The components of the tent's velcro onto the carpeted finish of the truck shell. I glued some indoor-outdoor carpet to an aluminum angle for a base to velcro the tent to the truck. The carpeted angle uses a RAM T-Track system using the standard bolt and a threaded flat washer to slide into the top rack of the T-Track system. The finished installation neatens up the installed components and can be easily removed when the shell is off the truck. And now I have a way to secure the bottom of the top lift tent walls. Installing a truck shell over the ram box includes a wide aluminum bottom. I added a carpeted angle to that extension to have a place to velcro the top of the tent walls. The finished installation gives me a large enclosed area ready to customize for short camping trips. Outside, I can still access the stuff inside the RAM box. 
Inside, the tent windows have a privacy screen that unzips. But even better, the screen window unzips as well, allowing me to capture full breeze, pass stuff through, or access things from the RAM box inside. There's a wide door to get in and out of the bed area. I like that the system encompasses the tailgate to allow occupants to climb in and out without having to immediately get in the bedding, which will allow us to remove dirty shoes or wet clothes before we climb into bed. You can see how the system is meant to work with the standard carpeted finish of the shell. There's not quite standing room inside, which will be less when I put storage drawers under the bed. But I have room to use the drawers with a bed using a tent system under a lifted shell like this. Unassembling the tent takes just a couple of minutes to be ready to hit the road. Overall, I've been quite pleased with the system, especially with the motors moved up into the shell area. It is a great option to consider if you want to have a shell added to the top of your RAM box system. Thanks for watching.